Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On the Paint Table. It's my weekly show where you see what I got done, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. So this week I managed to paint uh, an entire new game in the form of Space Marine Adventures uh, Rise of the Orcs. I painted some characters for Frostgrave, and I also painted a couple models for Relic Blades. So take a look at what got done and what is coming up. All right, so here's my Space Marine Terminator's Rise of the Orcs Terminator Squad. So my solution to um, the fact that uh, they're all from different chapters and that I still wanted to paint them to use in 40K was to paint them for my Death Watch army. So I can still have all the chapter symbols. So Blood Angel, Pearl Fist, Ultramarine, um, a uh, Salamander, and a Space Wolf. And then just did them up in Death Watch colors. So and they're not really like a, a Codex legal Terminator Squad anyway, so it made sense to have them be... Um, all differently armed and then use them in uh, in my death watch so i'm stuck with that they're uh, they're really nice they're from space marine heroes too so if you're looking for these models outside the box um they're they're available there and this game was a lot of fun to play with my kids if you're looking for an entry level sort of war game uh to play with like a group of one to five kids i would say that this is right up your alley my five-year-old and six-year-old we played two games of it after dinner in about maybe an hour and a half and they loved it like they the fact that you have a hero they have special rules you pick up power-ups it fell into all the sort of like right way to teach a war game and do some simple math and stuff kind of rules. And the orcs being visual pogs and having all the rules on them was actually really handy for the like learning curve too. Because they could see how far they were going to move, how much damage they were going to do, and what the dice roll needed to be to kill them. Um, and yeah, they really enjoyed it. So uh, two thumbs up as far as like this being a good like parent and kid game. Uh, and it's recommended eight and up, and that seemed appropriate, but my five and six year old were more than able to soak it up. And I got these two from Relic Blade. I painted my wild elf archer um, and my uh, my big uh, tree guy, whose name I, Arbalath Sentinel, that's his name, Arbalath Sentinel. Uh, and they're just done up with some like sort of base coats and washes. I did them in the bright, vibrant colors of all my Relic Blade stuff, because Relic Blade's a kind of cartoony, fun thing. I got some big mushrooms growing on his shoulder there and had the glowy stuff coming out of his eyes and fists. Uh, this was a mix of Bane Blade Brown, some Agrax Earthshade Wash, and then blended up to um, uh, old Deneb Stone in some places for the mushrooms and stuff, and then just Bleach Bone and Screaming Skull or whatever for the, the wood. Vice versa over here, um, some basic greens and then brown wash for everything else. Uh, we had, I think I used P3 Cardic Flush actually for the skin, blended up again through Bleach Bone. Um, and then some XV88 for the wood there, that's slightly different colors. Uh, yeah. And then had like the leaves on her hair and the leaves on her cape and stuff as well. See these coming up in my uh, Relic Blade campaign with Epic Duck Mike, as well as me painting. I wanted to finish these before I moved on to the new Relic Blade stuff, so you'll see me working on that next week. Uh, and then I painted up my two Templars for Frostgrave, so Owen and I can continue playing some Frostgrave. I got my Barbarian Templar and my, this is a mix of Deus Vault. I don't have the new Night Sprues yet for Frostgrave. I'm really stoked to check them out. I hope I get to see them soon. Uh, but this one's made with Deus Vault parts and parts from the Frostgrave Soldiers too. So two, two different Templars to hire from, um, which I'm stoked to, to try out because I think they've got a lot of value now that uh, they've got the double-handed weapon bonus and fight's not quite as high. They, they move still slow like a knight, but they hit a lot harder and I'm pretty stoked to try them out. I also painted up some, uh, well, base coated and assembled some Ultramarines to add to my Ultramarine army so we can play some more 40k. Uh, the first half of my Intercessor squad, including a sergeant that I converted up with an old um, Thunder Hammer from a Space Marine Terminator, just hacked off and sort of like applied to the, the arm, the pointing arm. Uh, and then I've got one with a Ox Grenade Launcher and then the rest just with Bolters. And I just wanted to kind of paint them at a fun pace, not like hammering through them. So I'm just going to do half a squad at a time. And then my Ironclad, because I love an Ironclad. And I honestly don't like the Redemptor Dreadnoughts as much as the old ones. And so I'm going to be using two Ironclad Dreadnoughts, I think, uh, as my... Um, my sort of like assault support for my assault intercessors just because they're cool the models are cool i don't ever see anybody using them and I, I like them a lot so they're just assembled and then um base coated with uh some just gloss black primer and then the uh cobalt blue from green stuff world and this is the other thing i'm working on right now which is my um crypt hunters uh, box game again from Barnes and Noble. So I'm stoked to play that. This is the Stormcast versus Ghosts one. I already have all the ghosts painted. I assembled them already, but I already have the ghosts um, painted from my uh, whatchamacallit army, my um, my Night Haunts army. And so the uh, the Stormcast are all I really have to get done to try it out. So I got the Griffhound finished. And these are from the Easy to Build set. Uh, if you haven't got them, they're available separately. So if you want to check them out, they're the, oh, they're called Sequiturs, I think. No, not Sequiturs, the other one. Castigators? Yeah, Castigators with their sort of like anti-ghost bows. They're like the Ghostbusters of um, the Stormcast Eternals. And they're done the same way. They're um, airbrushed with P3 ba Brassy Brass over a black primer. Uh, and then I've just got some uh, base coats down there and a brown gloss Agrax or Shade Wash. And I'll do the highlights and details probably this week. 
So you got another on the paint table done and on the books. I painted another nine models this week, which wasn't too much, but I kind of took a break and painted stuff I wanted as well. I started working on projects that I was sort of super excited about. So um, yeah, we'll see what's on the paint table for next week. I'm going to try and get a game of uh, Crypt Hunters in as well as get another uh, enough to play a 1500 point game done with my Ultramarine so that I can try that out too. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you for more on the paint table. Till then I'm Ash. Happy gaming. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.